Yo, 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 this is Oriax. I hope that everyone is having a blessed day. And I'm always going to start off this weekly report with the question. So I'm going to go ahead and read the question that the individual had. And these are real stories. Some details are changed to protect privacy. So, um, all right. Anyone have inspiring comeback stories to lift a guy's spirit? I've been facing challenges for a year, currently 26 and residing in my parents' cluttered basement after a recent breakup. Determined to turn things around, I've been working on reclaiming a position I once held, this time with a different company. Today was my second interview, and although I tried to stay positive, I was rejected. Despite battling bipolar depression, I've been maintaining steady progress. However, a heartening success story would be immensely appreciated right now. A reminder that positive change is possible regardless of age or feeling stuck. Thank you, dot, dot, dot. Um, I could really connect with a lot of the things this individual was saying. And, you know, immediately from the get go, feeling the pressures of where you feel you should, you know, be in life, especially in the 20s. I think 20s, you got to start waking up. And you start to wake up and it starts to hit you. I think there's a really drastic shift between like 20s and then teenagers. Early 20s, you may still kind of think like a young teenager, but especially when you start hitting 24, 25, 26, the realities of life gets, you know, starts to wake up. Money, career position, family, what everyone else thinks about your place in life and what you're currently doing all of those things really begin to just become more apparent and more consistently there on your mind and it's something that you kind of you just experience right away it's like a shift in your head and either you take it seriously and you change what happens or you begin to get swallowed you know and so I had found a person who made a response and he had a story and I felt like it was really important to share the story because I thought it was really dope and kind of really showed that sense of motivation that sense of drive and working hard so I'm gonna now read out the response of what this individual responded to this um, person who was asking for you know an inspirational story and he said certainly I have a story to share I didn't complete college until the age of 27. At 22, I was still in school, not putting my best effort, and my father was covering all my expenses. Progressing slowly through college, I often found myself in a state of depression and lacked motivation. I had very few friends, and to escape reality, I immersed myself in video games and drawing. Unexpectedly, my dad faced financial difficulties and had had to work overseas, leaving all his possessions behind. With only two weeks to find a job and pay rent, I secured a position as a web developer for a modest salary. Having dropped out of college with no experience, I hadn't officially withdrawn from classes and I failed several, thinking I had permanently derailed my college journey. It's so crazy how quickly things can change. You think everything's comfortable, everything's all right, and suddenly just one moment, one hour later, your whole world is flipped on top of itself almost kind of tells you don't get too comfortable you never know what's going to come up you never know what's gonna slide through the next moment it's like oh everything was just all right and now your dad has to leave has to go overseas he goes on to say this period taught me the true value of money and hard work and times were tough for a while Discovering a grade forgiveness program, I returned to school at 24 and transformed those F's into A's by changing my attitude. Concurrently, I began a small game project for self-learning. You know, I really want to focus on that paragraph because there really is something to say that your mindset is going to dictate the response. It's so easy to sink further and further into defeat, into pain, into waving a white flag and giving up. Your mindset is everything. And I can attest to that. Being in the career of of creating content, being a music artist and producer, you can fall into stages of, well, is this even doing anything? Or you can change your mindset and continue to revise and reevaluate yourself. 
it's always about that reflection in the mirror. It's always going to be about coming back to yourself and saying, okay, who am I going to be? Do I accept where I am? Am I going to change it? And what actionable steps am I going to take to change the current circumstances? There are things that are going to happen to us that are completely out of our hands that we can't do anything about. Things that we're not going to see coming. Miscellaneous expenses, you know. But and once we are aware of those conditions and those scenarios, it, how do we respond? You know, how are we going to talk to ourselves? Where are we going to go to change the narrative and change the path that we're currently headed on? Right. So he goes on to say, graduating at 26, I felt a strong desire to leave my hometown behind and start anew. While I had always dreamed of going to California and working for a major game company, it had seemed like an unrealistic goal until then. On with my diploma, I packed up everything into my small car, gave away my furniture, and drove to Los Angeles, staying in the cheapest location I could find. With limited funds and time running out, I applied to every game company and showcased my game project to, my, to prove my abilities. Although I secured numerous second interviews, success seemed elusive with last-minute rejections. After two months, nearly broke but determined, I chose homelessness over settling for a life I didn't want. I invested in two books on improving interview skills, reading them cover to cover while working on my game. Armed with newfound knowledge, I aced the next interview and impressed the company with my game project. This time I succeeded and found myself working as a game programmer for Disney. There were moments when I doubted myself and thought success was unattainable. Many times I felt worthless. However, I critically examined myself, worked hard to change my circumstances, and somehow I made it. If I can, I believe other can, others can too. And you know, that's such an uh, incredible thing. Books are so powerful in what they can do for you. Because I think when you pick up a book, I think it's such a physical experience that the digital ones and zeros can't recreate. And I think when you pick up a book and you saturate yourself in it, I feel like it forces you to really connect with the lines and pause within time. Because when you're reading a book and you actually care and you're actively absorbing everything that it has to say, those words really sink within you. It's like this space in this moment where it's just you and the words on that physical paper. You know, and I, th I think that experience can't be taken away like it can't. You just don't get that sometimes. Sometimes when you read things online. They don't stick as much. I don't know if anyone feels like that. I think it takes more time versus when you're reading it. But to invest in two books, to identify what the problem was. See, and that's a very important thing to point out and to think about, right? He said he worked on his interviews. He realized what exactly was causing him the job and then pursued to find what was the resolution, which happened to be books for him to help revise how he was starting his introduction off with these companies? Because they always say first impressions are everything, right? Uh, I'm Caribbean. I got a lot of ethnicities within me, but Haitian. I grew up with a lot of Haitian people. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, they'll say Ufrekan. Ufrekan is like a word for fresh. If you come incorrect with a Caribbean person or a Haitian person, that's their first time meeting you. They will never forget that. They be like, oh, fuck up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like, I don't like you. Even if you guys have a better relationship after that moment, they will still always have that moment of when they first met you. Right. First interactions, how you first interact with someone, especially for business interviews, how you first interact with those individuals is everything. It is going to determine when you get a job. Sometimes people are unqualified, but if they can really hit it off in terms of chemistry, that employer is willing to train that individual as long as they see something that they like and are willing and find it profitable to invest in. You know, it's everything. So I just think that you know, story is so amazing to kind of just look at that. Look at the look how tight time was 
for this individual who's realized, yo, if I don't get this together, if I don't do something, I'm going to continue being homeless. I have to change, right? He could have given up, could have waved the white flag. He could have said, you know what? The world is against me and it doesn't want me to succeed. And sometimes it can feel like that, y'all. But let me tell you, where there's a will, there's a way. And it may sound cliche. It may, it may sound like, oh, you know, you hear that all the time. But where there's a will, there's a way. You cannot stop. You cannot quit. You have to tell yourself that you're going to elevate and rise at every single moment. This world doesn't have very much mercy. Bills keep coming regardless of whether you have depression or whether you're at your wit's end. That bill is hitting your account regardless. Rent is due when it's due. Rent doesn't care what's going on with, you know, in your life. It says you need to pay me or you're going to be out on the street. You know, so it was amazing to kind of absorb and just take in this story because I apply that to my own life and, and what I'm doing and as well, too. But I think that's a really cool story to give to the guy who's in a place where you, you could definitely see he's looking you know, for help and looking for a little bit of guidance as well, too. So this is Ori's weekly report where we show, you know, where I just share motivational stories and react to all kinds of things. But I generally try to keep it on a positive, motivational, upbuilding train. I think there's a lot of negativity in the world and it's so easy to focus on negative stuff. And I'm just not interested in that. This whole channel is just about building people up, building spirits up. If I ain't got nothing nice to say, I ain't saying it. If I ain't got nothing constructively to say, you know, that builds people, I'm not saying it. <laughs> so this is our reacts. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Tell me something that you've went through in the comments below that you've been able to work through, what helped motivate you and get you through that hard time. And everyone just stay blessed and until next time. Ciao, ciao.